We'll come down here. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 58, Biosensors. In today's episode, we re-listened to the chords from the work area last time, thought more on our compositional approaches, and then promptly, because our presentation is in one week from today, added three more slides to our presentation deck, which are actually related to music. This is our diagram of hybrid tech and cross-dimensional thinking, and this is a series sharing composing in multi-dimensional, in multiple dimensions, which requires hybrid tech and cross-dimensional thinking. What are those, you ask? I'm glad you asked, because we took the time today to highlight how many different tech tools we are using. We're using the Muse Score Music Composer. We've been using the Magic Music Visualiz Visualizer, the Docs Document Editor, which these notes are in, the Firestorm 3D Model Editor. You've seen us do Reaper audio production, making Spatialized. You've seen us edit videos, Music MIDI Animator, Microsoft Image Composer, and even ArtRage Painting Software. So those are all things that are on the left-hand side here where it says Tools. And the use case, what we're doing it for, is to make cool music and music animation videos. Anyway, so that was kind of fun to put that together. So they, they go together. And then the, the additional idea is that you need uh, to have a variety of perspectives on how to use these things together. And then the needs, which are like your own needs as a composer to make something that's um, fulfilling, satisfying, expressing what you're trying to express. And in case you're sharing it with people, trying to anticipate and uh, meet what their needs are. For in this case, we're making a presentation on music in 3D. Uh, the next slide we worked on down here is abstract. But this is a good example. This person is trying to imagine what that person is thinking. And, and this person is trying to imagine what that person is thinking about what that person is thinking. And when you're trying to compose music for an audience, that happens or you're trying to put a presentation together, blah, 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 blah. And then this is something that's totally not related to our music, but it's definitely an example of, uh, in this case, assessing electronic collaboration tools. Over here, we're assessing uh, music and music video production tools. So we were pleased we got those slides done because that relieves a little bit of further relief. We're under a state of creative tension right now, since a week from today we present. And um, we're also in a state of creative tension working on our composition. So what we did today is we made a third improvisation by cherry picking from the Cadence's work area, which we worked on the last couple streams. We have basically three major areas of uh, cadences, 52 cadences from our C2442558 scale. These are sorted in different orders that give different suggested ways of putting them together. And today we went through and picked out all the ones, a new set of ones that we liked. So what we're going to do to close out today is play this for you. Let's put this into our continuous view and we'll turn the mic off.
So that ends today's stream. What we like about this improvisation three was A, we just jumped back in and started making a brand new piece. B, we like how it kind of broke itself into, we're calling them nine arcs right now, with varying degrees of consonance and dissonance, which if you remember our storyline of Buddha's dilemma, we've got that. We've got low, high, medium dissonance in the storyline. We also like that we've got all of our um, chords now in here, not just the high consonants chords. And we also like that we're using our different sorting options, cadence composing option one, cadence composing option two. We've used both of those before. And then cadence composing option three, uh, which we forgot to put in the, it's in there somewhere. We'll put that in there later. So thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Um, shout outs to Arlie Trash, Robin Lord, and Liam N stopping by. We always appreciate it. Come back next time. Do take care. Do come back and do keep on streaming.